Hey guys, welcome back to Amanda's Favorites. Today I have a new to me planner. It is called the Momtrepreneur. So like, you know, entrepreneur, the Momtrepreneur. Creator of this planner is Laurie and she wanted to make a comprehensive planner that housed a notebook, your calendar, your planner, and integrates all aspects of your busy lives as a mom and entrepreneur. So it brings in lots of household items, but your dreams, your plans, your actions, your goals, note taking, we're gonna go all through it. And because it's a disc bound system, it gives you the flexibility of this is not your entire year, this is only a couple months of your year, plus a whole bunch of extra pages and sections. So it gives you the flexibility of being able to not carry your entire year, being very lightweight, and easily transportable. It is a 12 month planner, but it does not come with all your pages in here. Like I said, um, April through December are actually in a separate packet right here and they come housed in a separate plastic. They're in a nice plastic, keeping them safe. So April through December do not come in your book. They come in a little plastic package for you to insert as you need them. Your planner has vision planning, goal setting, to-do list, reading notes, listening notes, meal planning, financial tracking. So she wanted to have everything you could need in one book, in one place. We're gonna go through everything in the Momtrepreneur Planner. I do have a coupon for you with code Amanda's Favorites. It's good for 10% off through January 31st, 2019. And that is down in the description box if you wanted to use that. All right, we're gonna jump into the planner. I just want to show you a few extras it comes with. It comes with these cute paperclip page markers made with just grow grain ribbon. So that's just a cute little extra. It comes with a highlighter and mine came with a pink pop and pen also. I am not sure if that comes with every planner, but I'm guessing it does. It has a little thank you card from her and a little welcome to your new planner from Lori. Now, one of the first things I want to remember to tell you is that some of your tabs back here are not labeled. And that is because she wanted to leave that open for you to whatever you wanted to name that section. You can write it in with a permanent marker. It will write on these tabbed pages, which are really hard cardstock, or you can even use a sticker to put it on. But she didn't want to label it, say, social media posts, just because it came with those pages because let's say you didn't want to use those pages, you don't need social media posts, and you wanted to label this section something else. So she wanted to leave that open for your needs and to not box you in there. Her first three tabs in this planner are vision planning, goal setting, and action planning. Okay, so we're gonna get into that. That's your first three tabs. You first have a nameplate page. If you're not familiar with a disc bound system, it is a system in where you can add and remove pages at will like that. So you can move pages all around. As months pass, you take out the months that you don't need anymore and add in your next months. It is a nine disc system. Your first tab is dream. Your dividers are really thick cardstock and they are coated so that they will be protected during the year in case you get any food on them or water splashes or anything like that. So your first section is dream. It comes with your vision board. In this section, it is six blank vision board pages. So three pages, but front and back making six pages. They are all dot grid. So they are for you to use and interpret however you want to use them. It can be making vision boards. It can be mind mapping. However you want to lay out your vision. Your next section is plan. In your next section plan, you have three pages front and back again. So six pages total, and they are all the same. You have room to write vision, and then your top goals under that vision, your top four goals. You have room for 12 visions, two per page, front and back right here. Your next section is left blank for you to name, but it says a goal without a plan is just a wish. And these are your vision action items. So what goal are you working on in each one of these columns? And then what action items do you need to get done under that goal to make it happen? So for each of these pages is a new vision, a new thing that you want to make happen. And you're going to have goals underneath of that vision and then action items under those goals to make that happen. You have the same three pages of that 
so front and back, six pages total, so six vision pages there. Good luck is the result of good planning. I love that quote. And this tab is also left blank for you to label. She has it as a brain dump section, a do now and a do later, just tick off list. Do now, so maybe things that need to be done more promptly that need to be taken care of right ahead of time, and then things that can wait until later. And you have the same three pages, so six pages total of that. Your next section is labeled do. Then you have your year at a glance, 2019 under this section. You have also year at a glance, 2020. And then you have starting in January, and you have a quote on each month. The first month is the quote by Walt Disney. All of our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them. On your monthly layouts, the left-hand page is your hard cardstock page that is a little bit coded. So you are going to have to take that into account what pins you use on this since it shares the page with your monthly layout. It is a typical Sunday start. The whole planner is the same lime green, black and white theme throughout the entire planner. That does not change. You have rooms for notes or a list for this month. You have a must get it done this month, like a top three right there. And then you have your days numbered in the lime green. Holidays are in a black at the bottom of each day. You have a Sunday start to your monthlies and previous months. And next month's days are written in light gray. So you still have those numbered on there. Even if there's a holiday, it's still in there on light gray. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday are on your left side. And then Wednesday through Saturday are on your right hand side of the page. After your monthly layout, you have a notes page, a lined notes page, and then you go straight into your week. Let's go into a full week so you can see how a full week looks. And we will go ahead and talk about our pen test. I just marked my pen test page there. She has 100 GSM paper in here, which is such, you know, a common paperweight. It's a good paperweight that probably I would say a huge amount of planners are made with, like maybe 80% of the planners that I review. And here is what the pen test looks like on the back of 100 GSM paper on there. I mean, you can see that the biggest thing is your Pilot um, fountain pen. So I've been testing fountain pens because I've had requests and that's pretty much the only thing coming through there is that fountain pen. I tested all my normal pens in here and a even a mild liner highlighter. This planner is $39.95 and you can get 10% off with the code Amanda's Favorites through January 31st, 2019. Now let's go to a fresh new week and let's look at a weekly layout. Your week start on a Monday and you are given a huge amount of space per day. It's a vertical weekly layout, but you have a half a page per day. This is a typical seven by nine planner. You are given an entire page for two days, a half a page for one day. So they are huge vertical columns. If you have problems with a vertical planner, you know, being too skinny and not re really being able to write anything across in it, this gives you ample amount of room. You have Monday through Thursday on this two page spread and then your week finishes on the next two page spread with Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then a note section with three boxes. So let's go through what each one of these days looks like. Your day is labeled really big at the top with the name of the day of the week, really big of number of which day you're on. Then she gives you a huge blank space. She said she purposefully did not label all your boxes and sections because she wants you to be able to use it however you need to in your life. This way it is open-ended and it can change as the seasons of your life change. So it's never every section labeled and you have to use it that same way or you have to ignore the wording on there. You have a big blank space at the top. Then you have lines for action items and tick off circles. You have three grayed out rectangles right here, and then you have habit trackers at the bottom. You could of course use this for all your appointments of the day, like appointments or non-negotiable errands. So anywhere with a time or somewhere you have to go that day. These are just ideas of mine, how I might use it. Your action items, your to-do list, these three boxes could be for your top three things that must be getting done that day like your top three must-dos, or it could be like your workout 
your dinner, your steps, or your sleep tracking, or your weather, whatever you want to use those for, or your teenager's work schedule, whatever you need those boxes for. Then you have your habit trackers. I want to show you the habit trackers up close. So you can, of course, she also left these unlabeled, so you can use them for any habit you want to, but these were her thoughts and why there's a certain number of dots per day. The first row is 10 dots for tracking your steps to 10,000 steps. So each one would be a thousand steps. Your second row is eight dots for eight glasses of water. And then your third row is four dots for 20 minutes or 20 pages of reading. So each dot would count for five minutes of reading or five pages of reading per day. And then your last dot is just meant to be a vitamin reminder for the day. Of course, you can convert and use these dots for anything that you want to be tracking daily. And if you don't want to be tracking anything daily, you know, you have some blank space down here. You can just write down there, write over it. You might want to put the temperatures for the day in that extra blank space, however you want to use it. This planner gives you a lot of options for just leaving it open however you want to use this blank space. So each week does have a four-page layout. So two two-page spreads. And that is why you cannot fit all 12 months in here with all the other extra sections unless you wanted it to be a huge bulky planner. And this is a very slim book and feels very lightweight to carry around. I think that's a great feature to have a very portable lightweight book. And when you're done with these months, you take them out and you add in your next months. At the end of the month, the month just ends. So this is already going into the next month. She goes ahead and goes into the next month there, then your monthly layout, and then your next month page right here. Of course, with these being movable, you can move around your pages at will. If, you know, when you got to this point, you wanted these two pages to be right here with the Sunday, you could do that. And every month follows that same pattern, your notes, and then your weekly layouts. Let's go into the other extra sections at the end. So you have a learn section here. And this is a reading list. So you have room for a lot of books, the author, and your start and finish date to keep track of your reading. And that's front and back. There, that's room for a lot of books. This section says Mother Hustler 24-7, 365. And she has reading notes here. So ahas, quotes, questions, action items from your reading, just random notes. What's the book? Author, start. And so each two-page layout is like that. It's, so there is four sets of these two-page layouts, so eight pages total. Then the next section is persist until something happens, push. I love that. I actually haven't seen that written out. I don't think I've seen that quote anywhere. I like that. Then she has a section which she said she absolutely loves, listening notes. So when you're on an important phone call or you're listening to a podcast or a speaker or you're watching a video, even at home, you know, from YouTube or a webinar, TV or other, you can check what it was, who it was, the date and what notes you took down. So you can actually remember that phone call or that podcast. So you have five of those pages front and back. So 10 pages total of listening notes. Then you have a don't quit and that is blank to label as you wish. And that is for quotes. You have two pages here, front and back, so four pages total. And it gives you really nice divided sections for eight quotes per page. Create is your next section. And you have room for blog ideas. It is just a big list with your check tick off circles and a little place where you could check off if that blog idea happened or not, or maybe put the date that you posted that. There are two pages of that front and back, so total four blog ideas. And of course, if you don't need this, you can use this just for extra note pages for anything you want to make it or take them out all together. This section is not labeled either, and it is social media posts. There are five pages total, so front and back 10, 10 one-page layouts here for social media posts. You have a post idea and maybe where you posted it. So three different tick off boxes for whatever different social media forums you're posting on and maybe the date that it happened right there to keep track of all your social media posts. You have another blank section and it just says ideas on lined pages. 
You have three pages for notes and ideas online pages front and back. This one says be resourceful. So it is labeled for you. And this is a grocery list section. So you have all your groceries divided into categories right here, your produce, frozen and refrigerated, canned and condiments, all those different categories on a grocery list. And the back of that page is a meal planner. So you would use these in tandem right here. You have a meal planner for the week, breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks. So you have seven days of your week laid out here, all your meals and snacks, and then you make your grocery list while you're looking at your meal planner. And Lori said she uses this a lot. So it looks like there's enough for five weeks of meal planning. You have another blank tab here and you have a financial tracker. So this is a two page spread right here for your finance tracker. And you have the month, the due date, the company, the amount, and the date paid. And then you have this little financial tracker guide page right here for savings for different events like irregular bills, holidays, vacations, goals, and you have your next debt to pay off. You have your big eight of what you pay to each month and your grand total. So these kind of go hand in hand for your month. And you have five months worth of that in there. Your next tab is not labeled either. It's gift ideas. You just have tick off boxes and three lines for each tick off boxes. So you can keep track of gift ideas for different people throughout the year. And that's two pages, so four pages total front and back of gift ideas. And your last tab is a password keeper. So if you like to keep your passwords in your planner, there is a lot of password keepers. Three full pages front and back, so six pages total. Of course, any of these extra sections you don't need, you can take out and you don't even have to use if you don't want to, or you can use them as extra pages for notes. So while your first three tabs were for vision planning, goal setting, and action planning, your last three tabs here were for personal development, business growth, and your home life. Lori really wanted to stress that this is an all-encompassing planner, and her vision for it was making it for busy mom entrepreneurs who are working and raising their babies and their businesses at the same time and also having to maintain a household and pursuing their own personal development. She said before she made this planner, she would have so many sticky notes in so many different places, like quotes she wanted to keep, reading notes, you know, remember this, something for the grocery list. And she wanted to make something to get rid of all those sticky notes. The front and back cover are a really durable plastic. So it's very hard, but durable. You could spill anything on it. And it just has really discreetly there written the mompreneur planner. So unless you're looking very closely, I think it's hard to see. And there is nothing on the back. Like I said, your book is so thin because you only have in here right now all your extra pages plus January, February, March. So if you wanted to keep more of your months in here and you didn't need as many of these other extra sections, you could take out some of the sections. But if you wanna leave all the sections in, you really can only keep three months at a time in here. Now, if you needed your monthly views, you, you could definitely add in the monthly view pages for your entire year and maybe just have to take out like one section to be able to fit that in here because the amount that's in here right now is perfect. You don't wanna to try to overload these disbound rings because the pages won't stay on if you do that. All right, guys, that's it. That's the Entrepreneur Planner. Don't forget, I have a coupon down there for you through January 31st for 10% off with the code Amanda's Favorites. That's down in the description box, as well as a link to the site where you can buy the Entrepreneur Planner. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day, and we'll see you next time. Happy planning.